now, pass your uh, control screen, print it all up and running, let's remove. Love doing that. One of the things you have to remember is make sure you do not touch this pad often because the more oil from your hands goes on the pad, the less it is sticky for the items you're printing. Now, let's have a quick look. This is the first time I'm using a box for that printer, so settings. Oh, just remember it's not a touch screen actually. Motion. Come back. Controls. Auto home. So it's basically controls and then auto home. The fan is quite loud, but the stepper motor drivers seem to be the quieter ones. Mouse basically returning to zero. Sometimes this is the part where you will hear a lot of grinding and other weird noises if everything is not in proper place. Now it has zeroed itself. This is where I have to make sure the distance between the nozzle and the bed is just right. So, to do that, we will have to go down to that level. Now, for this part, you will need a nice piece of paper. Let's move the printer closer, actually. And let's see if you can have a look at it properly as well. So, make sure. I have you guys with me. Are you with me now? Okay. So now I brought it to zero. I want to disable the steppers, which means all the motors are now free. I can move things around. As you can see, I can't really move the nozzle because it is literally touching the bed. So the bed needs to come down. So we start rotating the screws. To start getting your bed and the distance between the nozzle just right. So now normally you take your paper and you feel there should be a little bit of tension but even though there is not, not much tension here I want to make sure all the screws are first in the right place. So I will take this over there. Here it's very tight which means I need to loosen it a bit and bring, see as you can see it's tightening so that means that is very loose as well. So I'm tightening those screws. And it needs more tightening. So as you can see, now this one needs tightening as well. So first of all, let's make sure the head can move around without scratching the bed, which it has done here. My mistake, I should have being more vigilant but again as I said last time you learn by your mistake so now that we have actually raised the bed yeah. Yeah. now we can start finding the right height. So let's see. Maybe a little yeah. And 
free, a bit of attention there. Let's go there now. Now this is completely free, so loosen it and I'm noticing one thing though. The screws on this printer are not the very best. So I might actually need to replace them before long. And let's go to that side. Again, not tight at all. Start loosening the screw until you feel the tension. Then go on this side. And that seems okay, so watch your home again. The control panel has quite a lot of detail actually, which is good. Sable strappers. See if the settings with it are still valid. Nope. So this is something you learn by trial and error. So what I would do is normally set it and then once the print, first print starts I will start monitoring it again and then you can tighten it or loosen it as per your requirement. See how the center looks like. Seems to be fine. Water home again. I think we're ready to print our first item. So what I'll do is I will slice something. I'm not going to use what's on the card. I'm going to actually find a model that I've already got and then print it and you guys can watch. Okay, now I have something on the SD card that I want to print. So SD card slot is right there. Micro SD card actually. Let's see. So the micro SD card slot is actually upside down. So instead of the card going this way, it's going to go the other way. Just be aware of that. I'm going to use some EDA filament. I've been using this filament for a while now and I've found it very good. I'm opening a new one because most of the time if you're using old filament you will face problems and you won't really know if it's the printer or if it is the actual filament that was messing up everything. So that's why for this review I have decided to open a brand new pack of the filament. We'll place the roll there. Normally. Let's turn the printer on. Before I insert the uh, filament, I'm going to preheat. Keep forgetting it's not a touch screen. Preheat PLA. Now 
Now this is automatically preheating PLA and it's already preheating the bed as well. Funny enough. Uh, one other thing I've just noticed is the cable. It's very close to the bed actually. For something I'll keep an eye on. So the nozzle temperature I'm raising to about 225 with the PLA I'm using is PLA plus and it does require a higher temperature. I love the screen by the way, it makes it very simple to use, it's basically modern but it's got a box lab skin on top of it. Let me see if I can show you that. basic settings you have are print, control, settings, info, you use the wheel on the side to basically scroll through them. Info just gives you the info about the printer. Settings, they have got all the different settings controls, that's when you can individually auto home the printer, do other things. Now it's actually it's reached the temperature very quickly which is good. Now I am going to load the filaments. Zoom me out again so you can see how I'm doing it. I'm gonna push this in and then start pushing the filaments in. It has a filament feeding system as well according to the manufacturer. So we can even use that. So going controls and it says automatic load. Insert filament through the feeding gear into the tube heating please. And let's see. So now it's going to load the filament. And there you go. Wow. very promising filament is coming nicely not sure you can see it so if you can see on this end here the filament has extruded And now I'm going to print the Benchy. And we shall see. That has already heated. Now the nozzle is heating. 
does feel very quite quick actually because the engine only takes a while to heat the bed and, uh, and also as you can see the nozzle is heating so the, extrude, the filament is extruding out There we go, it's off. This is the first print. As you've seen, I've just built it in front of you, loaded the filament for the first time, and pressed print in front of you. So you've been on this whole journey with me, with this printer as well. So. I'll see how much I can film and if I need to I might do a time lapse of the final video of the print but it is looking very good at the moment. So 